nice. Man, I could spend all day here. This place is absolutely amazing. This is how I want to wake up. It's warm, the sun is nice, the solar is kicking hardcore. Got myself a nice hot shower, actually even too hot because the water heater is actually finally working perfectly. And, uh, you know, made myself a nice breakfast. I'm just so happy right now, but I have to go into town because there's a lot of issues and I don't want to point any fingers, but they're all the van's fault. I'll show you what I mean. First of all, I have a chip in my brand new window. Not cool. Secondly, look at this van. It is disgusting. I need to wash it. I also need to dump the gray tank and I can do that at the same place. If I go to a car wash, a car wash your own car situation, I just pull my gray tanks there and it, it's, a, it's a safe, clean, nice place to dump your tanks and get a car wash all at the same time for the same price and often cheaper than actually dumping your tanks. And since I don't have any black water right now because I haven't actually even tested my repair, which I also have to do today. So yeah, lots of stuff to do today. Oh, and that, uh, that's not even the biggest issue. Check this out. This is it, listen to this. Okay, it's not doing it today, but there's some serious issues. I don't know if it was the high altitude before or something else, I, something to do with the throttle, something to do with the air, something to do with the fuel mixture. I've got a few suspects. I'm, I'm suspecting that there's issues with the ground wire on my um, fuel pump. And I'm also su uh, suspecting that there's air clog intakes. I might have to put a new air filter in. So I'm gonna do all of that once I get back into town. Okay, it's sort of doing it where it's stumbling a little bit. Especially when I started up cold, it goes, blah, 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 blah. I mean, two days ago or yesterday, it actually stalled about uh, 30 seconds after I started it. So that that's a first. That's not good on a fuel injected system at all. So definitely need to take a look at that. Yeah, and I'm just going to get the van ready. Actually, uh, yeah, just ready for my uh, my friends coming in. He's going to live the van life with me for a week. And then Julien Cote is going to come in with me from GoVan. So I got a packed couple of weeks coming up and I got to make sure that the van is 100%. Yeah, see, it's doing it now. Okay, every time I point the camera at it, it stops doing it. Please tell me you hear that. I'm not just going crazy. It like rumbles the whole van when it does it. It's like it stumbles up. Yep, okay, time to fix the van. stop here just to check out a historic little spot the golden spike so yeah the spike although it was actually gold has since been removed and is now at Stanford University they have a replica here and this is the site where they first joined the Union Pacific and the Central Pacific railroads that was the first time there was railroad track running directly from the West Coast to the East Coast this is the spot this is the spot that first unified America coast to coast as a country, which uh, is kind of cool considering I've been road tripping across this entire country and using its interstates and all of its highways and what have you. And this is, this is the OG. This is where it all started, the road trip. Union Pacific, Central Pacific. Union Pacific, Central Pacific. This is kind of rad. In a lot of ways, this is kind of like the moment that defined a whole century of American history. I mean, this spot right here is what like so many hundreds, probably thousands of people died to make this happen. It's like an economic war on our own home turf. It's pretty crazy.
So yeah, that was my day in fast pace. We got the windshield patched up. We got the uh, groceries done. I got some oil changes done. I did uh, an air filter change and now the engine's not stumbling, but we'll have to check that out tomorrow morning because uh, yeah, it's really only on cold starts. So I couldn't really even diagnose it until tomorrow morning. And which is part of the reason why I came up here. This is a free campsite, but it's, uh, it's up in the snow a bit. So tomorrow morning, the engine will be cold when we kick it up, it should act up and we'll see. Of course, Champ is just thrilled that we're in the snow again, aren't you, buddy? Fucking loves the white stuff. Yeah, you like it. I take you to all the nice places, don't I? <laughs> so yeah, thought it'd be a good opportunity to crack out the old, little homemade toboggan again, because this is probably the best tobogganing hill in the world. So let's do it. chicken stir fry just nothing special but uh we're gonna do it up i have a last of these little oh i have the last of these little they're called bean threads bean threads it's a terrible translation but basically they're rice noodles and uh i cook those separate and then i do the stir fry with the chicken and veggies and then some sauce right at the end and then you just toss one in with the other, stir it all up, make sure it's nice and spicy, and you're good to go. If people are wondering about my cooking experience, because I often get comments about that, um, I'm not entirely self-taught. I have worked at a lot of restaurants. I worked at uh, basically... So I've spent six or seven years working in different restaurants. I always try to work in restaurants I don't know the kind of cuisine so that I would learn. That was the whole point in the first place. So like the first one I worked at was an Indian fusion and a couple of different gastro pubs. Um, I worked as a sushi chef for years. Um, done like a lot of like breakfast nook spots, um, just all kinds of different restaurants. And I've always wanted to work in a shawarma shop because i love shawarma so much i want to know all the spices i want to know exactly what goes down so maybe one day i'll work at a shawarma shop again and get back into the kitchen it's stressful i'm not i'm not built for it <laughs> i'm way too laid back for the kitchen environment it stresses me out okay anyway enough about that let's go cook for fun okay and nutrition let's do that instead And then try and get it across here. Right here. Try and get across here. And then... Because then we can get two winches onto that one. Look, look, if I stand completely straight, I look like a human matchstick. 
makes all very risky exposing ourselves to die looking like that.